Okay, today's book that we're going to read is Stone Soup, and this is by Anne McGovern. And Christina is going to help me by reading this today. Stone Soup. A young man was walking. He walked, and he walked, and he walked all night. And he walked all day. He was tired and he was hungry. At last he came to a big house. What a fine house, he said. There will be plenty of food for me here. And he knocked on the door. A little old lady opened it. Good lady, said the young man. I am very hungry. Can you give me something to eat? I have nothing to give you, said the little old lady. I have nothing in the house. I have nothing in the garden. And she began to close the door. Stop, said the young man. If you will not give me something to eat, will you give me a stone? A stone, said the little old lady. What will you do with a stone? You cannot eat a stone. Ah, said the young man. I can make soup from a stone. Now the little old lady had never heard of that. Soup from a stone? Well, fancy that. There are stones in the road, said the little old lady. And the young man picked up a round gray stone. Stone will make a wonderful soup, he said. Now get me a pot. The little old lady got a pot. Fill the pot with water and put it on the fire, the young man said. And the little old lady did as she was told. And soon the water was bubbling in the pot. The young man put the round gray stone into the pot. Now we will wait for the stone to cook into soup, he said. The pot bubbled and bubbled, and after a little while, the little old lady said, This soup is cooking fast. It's cooking fast now, said the hungry young man, but it would cook even faster with some onions. So the little old lady went into the garden to get some yellow onions. And into the pot went the yellow onions with the round gray stone. Soup from a stone, said the little old lady. Fancy that. And the pot bubbled and bubbled. And after a while, the little old lady said, This soup smells good. Well, it smells good now, said the hungry young man. But it would smell even better with some carrots. So the little old lady went out to the garden and pulled up all the carrots she could carry. And into the pot went the long, thin carrots with the yellow onions and the gray stone. Soup from a stone, said the little old lady. Hm, fancy that. And the pot bubbled and bubbled. And after a while, the little old lady said, hmm, this soup tastes good. Well, it tastes good now, said the hungry young man. But it would taste even better with beef bones. And so the little old lady went to get some juicy beef bones and into the pot went the juicy beef bones and the long thin carrots and the yellow onions and the round gray stone. Soup from a stone, said the little old lady. Fancy that. And the pot bubbled and bubbled and after a while, the little old lady said, this soup is fit for a prince. Well, it is fit for a prince now, said the hungry young man. 
but it would be a fit for a king with a little bit of pepper and a handful of salt. So the little old lady got the pepper and the salt and into the pot went a little bit of pepper and a handful of salt and juicy beef bones and long thin carrots and yellow onions and the round gray stone. Soup from a stone, said the little old lady. Fancy that. And the pot bubbled and bubbled. And after a while, the little old lady said, hmm, this soup is too thin. Well, it's too thin now, said the hungry young man, but it would be nice and thick with some butter and barley. So the little old lady went to get the butter and barley, and into the pot went the butter, the barley, a bit of pepper, a handful of salt, the juicy beef bones, the long thin carrots, the yellow onions, and the round gray stone. Soup from a stone, said the little old lady. Fancy that. And the pot bubbled and bubbled. And after a while, the little old lady tasted the soup again. That is good soup, she said. Yes, said the hungry young man. This soup is fit for a king. And now we will eat it. Stop, said the little old lady. This soup is indeed fit for a king. And now I will set a table fit for a king. So she took out her very best tablecloth and her best dishes. And then the little old lady and the hungry young man ate all the soup. The soup made with the butter and barley, the bit of pepper, the handful of salt, the juicy beef bones, the long thin carrots, the yellow onions, and the round gray stone. Soup from a stone, said the little old lady. Fancy that. Now I must be on my way, said the young man. And he took the stone out of the pot and put it in his pocket. Why are you taking that stone, said the little old lady. Well, said the young man, the stone is not cooked enough. I'll have to cook it some more tomorrow. And the young men said goodbye. He walked on down the road and he walked and walked. My, what a fine supper I will have tomorrow, he said to himself. Soup from a stone. Fancy that.